things in Wyatt's mind. <sighs> oh, to be that fellow who can create a bunch of wacky characters and then bolt. <laughs> All right, show of hands. Does anybody know who this is? I'll give you a few seconds to answer. Okay, time's up. This is Theodore Seuss Geisel, better known by his pen name, Dr. Seuss. He was an author and illustrator known for many books such as The Cat in the Hat, Green Eggs and Ham, Horton Hears a Who, The Lorax, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Fox and Socks, and One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. Chances are, if you had an elementary school library like mine, then you could not escape from Dr. Seuss's work, even if you tried. Now, fun fact with me, the term nerd was actually invented by Dr. Seuss in his lesser-known book, If I Ran the Zoo. Even though the books were the main part of Dr. Seuss's branding, there was a lot more to his name, such as the Dr. Seuss beginner book videos, I personally own the Hop on Pop one, as well as a 90-minute movie talking about his history, Two TV shows, one for Nickelodeon and one for PBS, five theatrical movies, and even a Broadway musical. So yeah, Dr. Seuss had a pretty big empire going on. Also, it's an, another thing to know is that I actually had a huge collection of beginner books. And every once in a while, I would read them to Valerie as bedtime stories, so that's pretty neat. However... While his books were pretty great, Seuss himself is another story, as he drew a bunch of political cartoons. And also, Dr. Seuss wrote an adults-only book that I could not show in this video. All I can tell you is that it was about a family of seven and horses. Even though Dr. Seuss passed away in 1991, some of his unpublished works eventually got out there, and even today, the Dr. Seuss branding is still pretty prominent and in the mainstream. Anyway, let's see what comes into my mind next time. I'm Wyatt Olinger, signing off. Things in Wyatt's mind! Ow.